Psalm 84 and verse 11. The Lord God is a son and a shield. He will bestow grace and glory. Not one good thing will he be told from those that walk uprightly. The Lord God said he is a son and a shield. He will give grace. He will give glory. You can't assess his grace and lack his glory. Glory is all about the manifestation of God for all to see. In every area of life, in health, in wealth, in riches, in wisdom, in understanding, in impact, in relevance, in power, in every area. When we talk about the glory of God, we are talking about the express unveiling and the manifestation of all God is. His ability and all he can do. Hallelujah. God is able to make all grace abound toward you and I so that we have in all sufficiency. We may abound unto every good work. I'm here to let you know that if you are part of this new covenant, it is all by grace. Whatever we are, we will be, we never to be, we can never be, it's all by grace. According to Titus 2 verse 11, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. So, grace brings salvation. This grace has appeared unto all men. Why? For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. If grace has not appeared unto you, let's say you can't be God's child. It's impossible. Until God's grace shows up, you are unfit to be God's child. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto all men. So you need the appearance of grace to you if you must not disappear in this life. <laughs> You have no place in God until his grace appears to you. Hear me, hear me well. You have no place in God until God's grace appears to you. Salvation is by grace. It is by grace that we are saved. Ephesians 2, 5 and verse 8. It is by grace that we are saved. Grace is not the product of my impute all you are impute. It is by grace that we are saved. Listen, in the book of Luke, chapter 4, 18 and 19, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Out of his fullness, we have received grace upon grace. For though the Lord came through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. We beheld him. He is the living word made flesh. We beheld him as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace. So, out of his fullness of grace, the word goes forth. When he spoke in Luke 4 verse 22, people marveled at the gracious words that poured forth out of his mouth. So it says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Preaching is by grace. Healing is by grace. Freedom from poverty is by grace. Freedom from sickness is by grace. He has sent me to preach deliverance to the captives. Deliverance is by grace. He has sent me to open the eyes of the blind or preach recovery of sight to the blind to destroy ignorance to open the eyes of the blind mentally physically spiritually is by grace he has sent me to set at liberty those who are bruised or oppressed or crushed liberty is by grace he has sent me to preach the acceptable year of the lord's favor the lord's grace jubilee is by grace everything christ did is the product of grace. Out of his fullness, we have received the grace upon grace. For though the law came through Moses, do's and don'ts, grace came through Jesus Christ. So you must understand that it is all 
the product of God's grace. We are healed by grace. We are delivered by grace. We are restored by grace. We are called by grace. Galatians 1, 15 and 16. Paul said, when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb, that I may preach, who called me, who separated me, when it pleased him to call me, he called me, it was not because of anything I can do or did. No. It was all of grace. My calling was of grace. He says, but when he pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the hidden, immediately I confide not with flesh and blood. We are called by grace. We are made by grace. First Corinthians 15 verse 10. I am what I am by the grace of God. This grace which God gave me was not in vain. I have labored above all the other apostles put together. Yet not me, but the grace of God which labored, which worked in me. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me. God is able to give grace and glory. He bestows grace and glory. His grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. So we labor by grace. We are made by grace. We are empowered by grace. Romans 5 verse 17. Having received the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness which are in this life. For though death came by Adam, life has come through Jesus Christ. Grace come through Jesus Christ, come through Jesus Christ. So we must understand that we are empowered to dominate by grace. We are enriched by grace. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. Know ye the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. For our sakes, even though he was rich, he became poor. That we through his poverty might be made rich. So we are enriched by grace. Finally, we are qualified for everything by grace to do anything. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound toward us. So that we have in all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. We can have super abundance, all sufficiency in all things. To abound to every good work is so by grace. So if you are not grace made, you will die of spiritual age. <laughs> If you are not grace made, you are going to die of spiritual aid, of spiritual aids. Many are struggling so hard. You know why? Because grace is not working. And listen, how do you assess grace? I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you your inheritance among them which are sanctified, the in Christ. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. I commend you to God and the word of his grace. So God is the giver of grace. The word of his grace is the channel by which we get grace. There is the spirit of grace and supplication, the Holy Spirit, grace of needing. So when you have God as your father, grace is imparted. When you have Jesus Christ, the word, you receive grace. When you have the Holy Ghost, finally, you have grace. These are the principal ways you can gain access to his grace from God the Father. As you get born again, so you hear the word because he has sent grace. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared unto us. So God gives grace. Christ, by the word, gives grace. And the Holy Ghost is also a source of grace. I pray that for today you will enjoy the grace of God. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Peace and God bless you. I'll see you again in our next video. Don't forget, share if you love it. And be a part of what we're doing at Jesus' mission. It Christ's ambassador's living mission international. God bless you. Peace.